it is time for things to start here in Baku. It is time indeed. The five red lights swim over these guys. Lights are out there. It's time for racing, Mika. Looks like Wingman got a good enough start. Pepsi kind of bogged down. You see Nemo getting a bit out of shape. That's allowed the two brothers to go through in the Williams cars. Looks pretty good so far. No real incidents. See a bit of three wide action down the field. That's Mika, Fassa, and a Mercedes of the keeper by the looks of it. But Wingman is ahead of Andocat. Wingman has taken the lead. Pepsi trailing behind, and there's Kalios right behind Pepsi, Mika. And they're all still very, very much up. Mika there getting a little bit antsy with the wall at the exit of turn 15. You don't want to be doing that too many times, especially when you have 25 more laps to go. Now we'll jump back up to the front of things. Pepsi, three tenses again. We have a yellow flag. Skins is out. Skins is out on the main straight, and I'm sure that's going to be a safety car. Oh, and Desiderate's out crash. as well. It's a massive crash, Mikael. Oh, no. We'll get it run on board with Nut. There's Skins. Vass has to slow down, there's Decelerate, there's Psycho out as well. That is absolutely devastating for those three teams. Anyone in the chat that was unaware that when this, uh, well, when the race started, and it looks like, speak of starting, we're going. Let's go, sir. We're, we're racing again. We're racing again and see Wingman playing a bit of games. Pepsi's getting down the inside of Andocat. He's having a look. We're not oh there. no, but Pepsi! Pepsi's around, just as in Monaco at turn one. He spins at turn one in Baku. And he's then tumbling down the order once again down to P16, Mikhail. Oh, oh so no. unfortunate. Keep it nice and cool. Not there as well in seventh place. Doing very, very well. Just trying to stay out of trouble, as I said in the pre show. He's got Keeper for company right on his rear wing. It looks like the Mercedes might have gotten the better run on the McLaren, sir. Yeah, he's got to be careful not to be too eager. He's using his ear. Oh, he's the touch! They're out! Oh no, that's a massive accident! A massive, massive accident between turns 18 and 19, and that is another safety car. We have 13 cars left in the only lap. Four bullies out of the race as well! Just, he's crashed I, completely on his own! I feel like I might have jinxed that, because I did say he's got to be careful not to use too much ear, otherwise he might spin it or run into the back of Nut, and he ran into the back of Nut, he sent Nut around, he sent himself around, and Mr. Spicer was the unlucky bystander, and he's out of the race oh, as well. Oh no! 12 drivers left! But here we go, <laughs> Bank Camp, backing up the field, going at a steady 105 kilometers an hour, you can see, and there he goes, he's pulled the pin, has Mika re oh. reacted, re Mika's reacted pretty poorly to that one, but Combat Rat, a little bit further behind as well, but the guys who have reacted the best are a bit further down the grid. We have Androcat right on the back of Wingman as well as Kalios as they head into turn one for lap seven of 26. Yeah, so important they get these medium tires fired up for the medium runners. Ooh, Kalios, yes indeed. Kalios is getting around the outside of Androcat. But Androcat's being brave, outbreaking him into turn two. I'm holding it right there, Mick. Oh, there we go. You can see the bump draft from the uh, Aston Martin. Giving, uh, giving it to the Haas. There's a gap on the outside. Kalios, he has a little look, a little bit of a bump there on that right rear tire of the Aston Mon, but it, no, no, no foul, no harm. Through 16, but he just got on that curve that many. He killed the run. He did have Vassas getting out of shape. Through 18 oh, and 19, that's given Kalios a killer run, Mikhail. My, uh, Quantum might get past him as well. Look at the speed of the Rebel. I don't know what wings or downforce they're running, but he might get two and one. He might get two and one. We have a drag race now down, going down into the first corner. It's almost three abreast. Vassa switches to the inside trying to find a way past. Oh. The two in front of them going side by side. The Red Bull's round. Quantum's round. And he's been taken out by King J. We have ten runners left. And that's another ten safety car. Ten runners left and a safety car. What Every is going on? Point. Well, there we go. Safety car has been called in this lap. And we will be green for the start of lap 12 of 26. We're almost halfway, guys. We're almost halfway, and my oh my, has it been a show so far. We have this absolutely amazing helicopter camera, and you can see Ben just weaving, trying to keep a little bit of temperature in the tires. When is he going to go? The safety car is now in the pit lane. He's holding a little bit further than he did last time. When is he going to go? You can see on the telemetry, there he goes now, and he's caught Ando absolutely napping. Look at this, and now Saxer as well has gotten off to a great restart as well. They're all closing in on this Aston Martin. We are now green flag racing for lap 12, riding on board with the Alpha Terry. Whoa. As he goes, try goes around the outside of the Williams combat. What a move, but Saxer Whoa. loses the rear end. He's able to catch it. Thank goodness for that. But he's able to still hold on to that fourth place. And it looks like Kalios now trying to make his way up the inside of the Williams. But Combat Rat is having none of it, Sam. But it looks like Wingman might be trying to eye up this Aston Martin. And he's gotten the run. He could have a decent shot at overtaking the turn one, Seb. Decent shot indeed. Look how close he is. There's no DRS. 
as we mentioned, Bully leaves the session, but he's got such a good run, he could get this move done before turn one, they're going side by side, looks like they're both using ARS, no, Mika is not using his area, so Wingman wants that move, I don't think Mi Mika wants to fight him, considering I think he knows Wingman has that page it's advantage. It's Kalios as well, Kalios on the inside into turn one, combat with the squeeze, into the apex curving, they both live to tell the tale. But uh, Kalios getting a little bit impatient now. Sticks his nose in at turn two. Combat Ooh. leaves in the room. A little bit of contact. That is on Look Silver Williams. Oh, there's Ando. Ando's going to try and go past both of them here, Seb. Look at this. Three wide. There's no way this is going to work into turn three. But they're going to go for it anyway. Three oh wide. Oh, my Combat goodness. squeezing at Kalios. He has to give way to Ando Cat. And Ando Cat will get three. Sorry, two into one. Looks like Wingman just has the better room in pace. Just look at how much faster. How much better traction he gets. He breaks so much better as well. He's just able to hold on to him, Mikael, and he should be able to get this move done into turn one. He might even get it done through turn 20. Look how much he's closing in on him through 18, 19. And he's just, he's not even using ERS, and he's just gaining and gaining. He's going to soar past Mikael into the lead. So Wingman sitting strong right now. But uh, they've both got a ton of pace, so interesting to see they how both this need to think about out. the long game right now. They both need to think about. There's a crash in the castle. Oh. That's one of the Yasamanas. It's Mika. Mika facing the wrong way at the castle. That's where these fresh tires will seriously come into play. In. Oh, Mind what did you. I say? What did I say? Wingman is out of the race at the castle, and we have and a we safety, have a safety car. car. And look at that weaving. Look at them all weave. I think he might wait for Sax to do a bit of weaving before he goes himself. There he goes. Not He's the gone. Pace. There he goes. Like I said, he waited for Sax to, to do a bit of tire warming and just to catch him off guard. And you can see a bit of a 4 tenth gap there where you haven't seen a lot of fighting. Kalos getting alongside Pepsi now into turn one. Those two oh, had a go This could get spicy. On. Pepsi goes deep. Kalios at the back of it. Combat rats round. Combat has lost it at turn one. He's going to go drop down all the way down to ninth place. Pepsi, he's gaining. He's not using as much battery as Saxa going into turn one. And we have now six kilometers left to decide the rest of the results as Pepsi looks around the outside oh. later on the brakes. Has to slot in behind the Alpha Terry, but he is so close to the rear of that Honda. He goes for the Which dive at turn two. Turn across him. Oh no! Pepsi's lost it now. Bankage on the back of him. He's got DRS. They both have DRS, but Bankage got the better one. Pepsi squeezing him to the wall. Pepsi, you know what I think? Should have just waited. Maybe waited for that last one. That could have cost him P2. That might have cost him P2. They're fighting into the middle part of the lap. Bandcamp just can't get past the Pepsi. Now, Kalios, Kalios looking around the outside of Bandcamp. He might get this move done. Bandcamp's giving the switch, and Kalios is going to mug P4 from Bandcamp. Looks like Sax has gotten a little bit of a better run, but Pepsi with that slipstream, he's going to have to burn all the ERS as well. He's going to have DRS assistance as well. Is he going to be close enough? It's going to be a run to the line. Androcat will take the race win as he weaves across the line. Here goes Pepsi. DRS. Sax is flashing. Is it enough? The Alpha Tower is P2. And Bandcamp just behind Kalios. Oh, just no. Just under 400. Nemo will pay... P6, Mika finishes P7, looks like Vasa got P8, sorry, Combo Rack got P8, and Vasa P9. Oh, for nine cards, that was a good finish, me. Oh my goodness, they were all like so close, and of course the Dragon, back driver of the day. Can't qualify, I'm sorry, man, but you seem to always make it up in the race. I'm sure I don't need him, me to tell him that, but there we go. Ando, he finally converts, he finally converts the pace that he has in that Aston Martin, as soon as he took control of that race after Wingman's mistake, just no looking back. And Saxo, what a drive from the Alpha Terry driver to make it. P2 under immense pressure from Pepsi. He will uh, recover to a third place after his spin earlier in the race. Whew. That, that was a that was a crazy one, Seb. Absolutely crazy. <laughs> you couldn't take your eyes off the screen even for a second. But there we go. And no Confirmation of the results there. Convert, got pole position, fast slap, converts the race win after a very, very eventful uh, Baku race.